This playthrough is rated M for Mature. Are you all ready to rip and tear? Greetings and salutations, viewers, while I'm back here with another first impressions, and this time it's Doom Eternal. I think 2019's Doom Eternal? I could be wrong about that. A sequel to 2016's Doom? Unfortunately, I haven't played Doom in a long time, the original one, and this one's going to be a bit... Like, when it comes to, like, characters and stuff with this, I'm not going to be fully aware of everything, so you'll probably forgive me, but uh, I remember liking Doom for the most part. I uh, had a lot of, you know, cool monsters, quick kills, and all this other stuff. The only problem is it's a shooter, so it means I get motion sickness pretty easily, so we'll have to see how that works. So let's press and get started. Now, I think if I recall, um, I did this off screen, but there's probably going to be a screen where I have to log into Bethesda.net or whatever to actually play the damn thing. So um, if it shows any of my uh, sign in information, I'm going to bleep that out or cut it. So I don't know if we'll, if I'll just cut it out or just block the screen or something like that. So, okay, so it already went into it. But yeah, when you first start the game, you have to like sign into Bethesda.net, which is bullshit. I should be able to just play the game without having to sign in anything. The idea is it's supposed to be for multiplayer, but make me sign in when I go to multiplayer, not before that. Okay, game? And I don't even think that's it software's fault. I think that was Bethesda who made them do that because they're a bunch of douche nozzles over there. Um, they make some fun games, but they're, they have the corporate headspace of a gnat. Um, anyway, so uh, forget about it. I don't want to complain about this the whole time. So we're going to do just the campaign mode, and obviously for the first hour or whatever, see how I feel about that. I said I like the last Doom, but the fact that you have to do this whole sign-in shit uh, makes me already not feeling good about this but uh you know what maybe we can just ignore this and go to the gameplay but just remember this is a part of the game so that counts as affecting it for that matter so anyway um you know i don't need any tutorials or anything like that so let's just start the game so i should already have a file here but uh let's go ahead and delete that that was my test file to see about if the game was running properly and everything like that so all right let's start with the doom guy story um to become an unstoppable demon slaying machine of pure destruction you'll need to master the full the use of your full arsenal. Each death is something to teach you about Doom Eternal's combat loop. Every new enemy type encounters encourages you to move more of your kit. When in doubt, consult the Codex for more information on weapons, demon weaknesses, and upgrades. Good luck, and remember above all, it's never stop moving. Well, that makes sense. Never stop moving in the game with this, but the combat loop. Is that what just happens when you die and start over? But anyway, we got multiple difficulties here and some extra ones for more fun. I like the skull just gets more, more awesome. It's kind of weird. It goes from like 80s to like like 80s like you know punk era to like heavy metal so i don't know i would i would do like the death like yell like a heavy metal but my throat's going out already so uh, i'm too young to die see so, quick reflexes and combat exploration throughout the levels are key to success in doom uh, in doom eternal at this difficulty setting there'll be dramatic fights and you'll push through the low health stages and occasional deaths on your way to mastering the experience enemy attacks left Dawson and do less damage some enemies you pick up in the world, like health and armor, are worth more than higher difficulties. Hurt me more! I mean, oh, hurt me plenty. If you have good reflexes and enjoy exploring for progression items, and this difficulty setting is for you. Invest in your weapons and abilities to keep up with the enemies as you progress. Enemy attacks often do meaningful damage. Death and low health states will be common early on. You, you, as you learn, the master, learn to master the skills required to dominate the combat experience. Uh, Ultra Violence, if you're an experienced FPS player with great reflexes and you love exploring levels for progressive item, progression items, then this difficulty setting is for you. Enemies throw power attacks more often and deal significant damage. Death may become may be common early on as you learn to master the skills needed to dominate the combat experience. Nightmare, if you're an expert to be FPS player with lightning quick reflexes you are, and you are a game completionist, then this difficulty setting is perfect for you. Enemy attacks are much more frequent and deal maximum damage. Few mistakes are allowed, and complete mastery of the combat loop is required. I assume, if it says if it's for completionists, I assume it means other than getting the full experience, you probably get trophy unlocks for doing it, beating the game on Nightmare Mode or something like that. So, uh, Ultra Nightmare. This is Nightmare Mode, but with one major dip, uh, adjustment. If you die, <laughs> if you die in your campaign, die. Your campaign is over. If you die in the game, you die for real. And a death marker will be left behind as a reminder of how far you progressed. 
You can save your campaign upon completing a mission. One death and you fail. Enemies are just as aggressive as Nightmare Mode. Yeah, we're not doing that. I'm not insane. Um, Extra Life Mod is a special campaign mod for or mode for players looking for an old school experience. Run out of extra lives and die, it's game over. Select this mode and select your difficulty. That'd be kind of neat to play, just like back in the old day. But we're gonna go with uh, Ultra Violence. See how well it do. Usually I'd play like the normal mode, but let's see how we can go with a little bit of difficulty. Maybe I can survive. All right, let's lit up our experience. Too bad I don't. Too bad I have the PS4 that doesn't have a good uh, weak SSD. Otherwise, it'd probably load up like instantly. But this is the problem when you play a console over PC. And my PC is like a lot faster. I spend a pretty penny on it. It should. But, you know, I wanted to have the... I'm more of a fan of controllers anyway. And I, you know, and I wanted the old school experience of having a... Actually, technically, if I wanted old school, I'd play it on PC. Because Doom first came out on PC. So, I can't remember playing uh, Doom in the... Um, uh, at like a computers at school because the teachers didn't know any better at the time. But anyway, let's start our journey. Against all the evil that hell can conjure, all the wickedness that mankind can produce, we will send unto them only you. Rip and tear until it is done. Did that rock your fucking socks off? Yeah! Well, at least they didn't keep the uh, uh, the um, uh, exposition. They kept it pretty low because, like in the last game, there was a joke about about a uh, um, codex for killing the zombies. Um, use these weak zombies for to farm for resources. Possessed by influence to hell, these once human underlings that fall in hell's ranks are those that have been corrupted and deceived by its power. Forsaken their own humanity, those who have fully succumbed to hell's control cannot be saved. Become mindless, grotesque cortes contortions of their former selves. Hmm. Um, yeah, in the last game they tried to like do exposition and uh, and the doom guy or slay. I guess in this game it's called. I guess in this game he's called the Slayer, because I always thought he was Doom Guy, but now he's called Doom Slayer. Maybe that's, or maybe that, it's been forever, maybe that's what he was called after the game or something like that. Um, but anyway, they, he, he like, there's an exposition and he like pulls the uh, monitor out of the wall to uh, uh, say, I gotta get going, you know, I've woken up, time to kill, you know, and I thought that was always pretty funny. 
Uh, gory kills. Yeah, these are from the previous game as well. When damage uh, demon enough becomes staggered and becomes it begins to flash. When close, press the R three button to glory kill it. Glory kill and also spawns health drops. The less uh, spawn, uh, less health you have, the more health drops the demon spawn. Glory kill dismiss. Hoo oh, we just slammed a skull, in, dude. Anyway, nice. Like, whoa. I gotta be careful. We're playing on a hard difficulty, so I can't just be dicking around too much. That yeah, was well, like the. Very pretty smooth. I had to be careful because my, I tried recording this earlier and uh, my recording like stopped all of a sudden. I was like, uh-oh, that's not good. Probably couldn't handle the awesomeness or the heavy metal. Um, okay, let's check these controls real quick. X is jump. Square doesn't do anything at least right now. Triangle or circle don't do anything. Directional buttons. Well, the bottom one tells us, if you press down the directional button, it tells us our next location. Our, our L3 nothing, our 3 punch, or glory kill. Let's see, no mod, so L2 doesn't do anything. L1 nothing, R1 nothing, and R2 shoots. Okay, sounds pretty straightforward. All right. Yeah, it was about here when my game first stopped working, so I just had to keep paying attention to it. Yeah, I think it's because my recording setup can't handle the 60, or I wonder if I could turn down the FPS on this actually, because uh, I don't think I don't think my recorder setup could do anything higher than that. Uh, let's see. I wonder if there's a photo mode, weapon hub. I'm just trying to see if I can turn down the frame rate or something like that to 60 or less. Because my computer can handle it, but I don't think the recording device I have handles it. Maybe I should get a one that can handle higher resolutions. I don't need it for my computer. I just need it for my console recordings. So, sorry, a little behind the scenes stuff. Well, uh... Millet looks smooth, any tart. Uh, open wheel open, milliseconds. Uh, no, it should be under video or something like that. Motion blur, I could turn that off. Because I don't need, I don't need the motion blur and everything, so. I like the film grain, but like I said, I don't know if that'll work on this. Uh, nothing else on that, so. Hmm. Uh, the amount of aberration, no. Hmm. Might turn off, might turn off motion blur, that might help. Uh, what does this do? Oh, and that just makes whatever its render is. VHS? Huh. That's interesting. Well, we'll leave it off for now. I want to give the initial experience for this. Uh, let's see. I changed the sound. Yeah, I guess there's really not much I can do about it. Just hopefully my... my um, oops, I'll have to delete that out. I keep forgetting that that's where my... Bethesda login stuff in. I'll probably just black the screen out when I when I show that really quick. So don't want to show any of my private info. Oh yeah, chainsaw! Yeah. Wow. We, oh, it's a tutorial on how to use the chainsaw. Uh, press square to instantly chainsaw demons or refill your ammo. One pip of chainsaw fuel automatically recharges over time. Gas canister pickups can also refill the chainsaw. Very nice. Okay, so let's chainsaw. Hell yeah. Oh, and I, I assume you get, like, a bunch of, uh... Oh, yeah, it is like the previous game where you just get a ton of ammo drops while doing the chainsaw, so... Very nice. Alright. I think we figured that out, so... Alright, keep it in mind. I think it took a while in the first game to get uh, our, uh... the chainsaw thing, so... Okay. I'll probably hold off on just exploring, just kind of get through this, at least in this episode, so... Oh, nice. Oh, well, first secret, I guess. Huh. Who knew that smashing up? Ooh. Oh, those are old school, like, um, yeah, I think that was health, those little vials. Oh, nice. <laughs> Makes me feel old. Oh, is that it? Just that? Huh, okay. Unless there, oh, can I actually jump that? Oh, I probably need an item. I think, uh, I, I, for, I think at some point you're supposed to be able to get, like, a, whoops. I think you're supposed to get, like, um, an item at one point that lets you, like, uh, um, either, oh, I can double jump. I didn't think I could do that. Huh. Okay, what does this do? Oh. <laughs> I think that happened in the previous game. You could find, like, little, um, Doom Guy or Doom Slayer, uh, dolls. And it would play the old, uh, Doom music when you did it. It'd be like, da 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 That's pretty funny. Oh, pun. Okay, now it tells us about punchables and all that. Okay. Uh, press X to jump in the air. But press X again. Well, to do... Uh, okay. Well, the game was going to tell me eventually... It's just I had to figure it out because, well, I can I can play games reasonably well. So, 
but there we go. Climb up, so. Yeah, it usually takes a while for games to add, like, double jumps, but Doom Slayer is pretty awesome, so he, he doesn't conform to actual physics or reality. What does this do? Oh, okay. Well, I did punch it. Weapon mod selection tutorial. This is the weapon mod selection screen. Interact with the mod bot and then unlock a mod for available weapon. Use mods to expand each weapon's gameplay behavior. Okay. So right now we got the shotgun, which is your classic. Uh, sticky bombs. Hold L2 to turn a combat shotgun into a grenade launcher that can fire sticky bombs. That'd be kind of cool. Full auto. Uh, L2 to transform the combat shotgun into a fully automatic weapon. Hmm. Which one? I do like bombs. But... I've always been bad about using grenades in any type of game, so... Um, let's see. Oh, it even tells us... Pro tip! Uh, let's see. Adds a long-range option to a shotgun. The explosion can damage multiple demons at once. Sticking to the weak point triggers a large explosion. Upgrade. Quick... Was it? Quick, quick rack? <laughs> Hell yeah! Uh, bigger boom and five spot. Okay. And let's see. This one, pro tip. Dishes out massive damage quickly. Great against bigger, slow-moving targets. Choose through... Ammo, so keep your chainsaw ready. Oh, that makes sense. Upgrade, quick recovery, fast transform, fast feet, salvo extender. Hmm. Um, let's go with full auto. I and all the all the expert uh, players say you made the bomb move, loser. No. Um, to activate the weapon mod, press and hold down the L2 button and then press R2 to fire. Read each mod's description in the dossier to learn more. Search the environment to locate more mod bots and expand your weapon's capability. Um, isn't this a bit too much reading for a Doom Guy game? You know, like a, I mean, not that I don't read everything like that. It just seems like the whole joke of the first game was, or the remake in 2016, was that it was supposed to make fun of games that had too much exposition or reading menus and stuff like that. So it seems like you can go out of your way to do it, but, you know, uh, breakables. Okay. Yeah, if I'm, if, of course, if I'm messing around these zombies, you know, I gotta, um, at this point in the game, I need to just be careful and everything, so. Um, yeah, so, whatever. Oop, we got imps. And then, I see those are possessed, uh, marines. Kind of like a, so they kept, I think in the last game it was like that too, where you could, um, different enemy units would fight each other, even though they're all from hell. But you would think that they would, uh, yeah, imp. Um, use bullet weapons to stop imps in their tracks. Yeah, bullet weapons. Okay. Scavengers of the underworld. Imps are among the most common of beasts found on the scorched surface of the hellscape. Lesser demons of hell. The imp possessed, uh, possess, possesses limited intelligence, driven only by the hunter's impulse to seek out prey. A task for which the imp is naturally suited due to its innate cap capacity for violence. As a result of these attributes, the imp makes for an ideal foot soldier and is often deployed in the warring legions of hell, easily manipulated and controlled by commanding highborn demons of the behest of the Sovereign Chapters. It is common for the Imp to appear in the front lines of an offensive attack, an expandable resource unleashed in great numbers to overcome and break through enemy fronts. I'll try not to, uh, oops, what was that? Uh, yeah. I'll try not to read every single, like, little thing, just to, you know, kind of get through the game, because obviously, don't worry about well, ammo. Wow. Okay. Yeah, the soldier class. We'll read one more, and then. Weakness shells. A point blank blast from a shotgun will stagger a blaster soldier. Well, surprise, surprise. Uh, plasma rifle is a weakness. The plasma rifle can overload energy shields and trigger an explosion. Weakness blood punch. A blood punch can instantly destroy the energy shield. Uh, once frontline infantry fighting to protect Earth from the demon invasion, the hell soldiers have been claimed by darkness, turning them against their fellow soldiers in the midst of battle. So. Ah. Gotta be careful about that. Oh, man. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, God. I really gotta... I gotta pay attention. Because I'm playing a harder difficulty. I can't just, uh... I can't mess around too much. Yet. Oh, wait. I didn't even press the square button. Alright. And maybe I should have run, like, right into the middle of the war between the two groups. You know what I mean? Ooh, ouch, right? Uh, right? Uh, I'm ready, I'm ammo like fast. More health, health jugs. Okay. 
Yeah, it's uh, always be moving. You know, what's it? OPM or something like that. So. Yeah, you're probably gonna see me do glory kills, not just because it's cool, but because, uh, you know, keep me alive. Man, did you just drop through him with, uh, with your shotgun? We always knew a new guy was cool. You like a lot of the aesthetics. Oh, no chain. chainsaw. Well, or gas. Oops, I didn't mean to press square, because. Are these guys just respawning? There. Oh, I, I guess I grabbed the canister without reloading. Maybe it's just too far Boy, a bull! Okay, we just have to kill this. What's this? Oh, health pack. Okay. We're supposed to go that way. Anything else in this little area we can explore? Let us see. So, but I think I say that, and I probably missed like a million secrets already. But oh, that was like I could have gone through it. <laughs> what do those do? Those just jump us up, right? Yeah. Oh yeah, I'm already starting to feel the motion sickness from, from first-person shooters. <laughs> yeah, I kind of wish I didn't have this issue, but you know, what can you do? That's why I can't play these for too long. I have to like take breaks in between these types. Like other games, I can just keep playing. Hell, is it barges? Oh, okay. Atop the mighty, let's see, atop the mighty thralls, the hell priest oversaw the invasion of the mortal world. The thrall slave titan of the underworld carried the pre te priest temples into the wake of battle, providing the priest with vigil of hell's advance from a strategically, strategically impervious emplacement. From the temple purge, the priest would emanate a powerful psionic influence, and passing greater coordination among the chaotic forces of hell and increasing their battle effectiveness. The thrall possesses superior resilience proved indestructible by convenient weapons, thwarting all attempts by arc defense forces. Only by severing the priest's psycho psychokinetic tether could the titan be neutralized, an act that could be accomplished by an infiltration of the temple itself. Oh, and then it has an image. Oh, cool. I like how you can unlock cons uh, art or concept art or some of that. I've always been a fan of that. Alright, take this demon scum. Where are you? Do we uh, keep his head as extras? Do we keep his head as a trophy? Or there's, there's hell on earth, literally. So. Yeah, they're keeping the cutscenes short and sweet. But yeah, do we keep his head or do we just get rid of it? Has been terminated. The demonic consumption of earth has been reduced by 36.8%. There are two hell priests remaining. It's kind of funny how you can defeat who we didn't even have to fight the hell priest. We just ran ahead and just kicked ass and took names. Um, but yeah, I like, uh, I like the fact that they're making them short and sweet, so. I mean, normally I wouldn't mind in a game, it's just, you know. So, can, I guess we can get both mods, or can we... Okay, I guess we can get... Oh, maybe we just swap in between mods? Is that how that works? Or do we get to keep both and we just switch? Well, let's see what happens. I guess it's unlocked. I wonder how you switch between the different mods. Oh, here's the game. He's going to tell us. Okay. Press up to switch weapon mods. Okay. Cool. Okay. Well, I didn't have to make... I didn't have to... I was making, like, a big deal about the decision, but it's like, oh, we get another mod, like, pretty quickly, so... Uh, objective marker. Yeah, this is, tells you about pressing down to, uh... To get... I already figured that out. Does, does no... Do people really not test the controls when they first play a game, or... Like... I guess not. Man. People have kind of lost the art of, like, testing your game controls before they actually play the game, so we have to get tutorials on how to do it every second, so... No, oh, Cacodemus. Wait, is there even one around here? No, that's the classic big-eyed, big ball of something. It looks like something from out of Big Trouble in Little Chinatown or something. Or Beholder. Actually, it's more closer to Beholder. I wonder if that's where they got the idea for the, uh... Um, Cacodemus. Oh, there it is, right there. Ah. 
Dang it. Ah! What the hell, man? We're getting hit by zombies. That isn't that that shouldn't that shouldn't That's pathetic. I'm the Doom Slayer. I don't get hurt by zombies. Oh, I guess there's nothing over there. Alright, yeah, I probably missed like a million secrets, but whatever. Do I need to drop? Uh oh, ah! Not sure that was what I was supposed to do. No, whoops. I should be. Probably should be checking the map if I'm like being attacked by things, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's kind of weird how hell, like, they'll fight each other, you know, for... the heck? Oh, you know, I heard that the, in this game there was a new mechanic um, for, like, moving around the maps and stuff like that, so I wouldn't be surprised if we're about to learn that. I think it was, like, supposed to be, like, a harpoon or something? Now, I don't really mind them reusing uh, glory kills, because, you know, all it takes to, like, like animate or do specific things in the game a lot but uh, as long as it's enough and buried every once in a while I'm fine with that you know oh I guess not right now we're not wearing that but I heard there is like a uh, oh arachnotron yeah I remember the, the big brains with legs or whatever certain demons have weak points that can be shot for extra damage or even disable their abilities weak points flash red with damage the arachnotron Arachnatron is a heavy range demon. Its turret is a weak point that can be destroyed by disabling the long range attacks. Uh, explore the codex, learn more about the demon's weak points. I assume it's the thing on its head. So, yeah. Uh, I'll admit, though, I'm not the, really the biggest fan of uh, heavy metal music, so I'm probably not going to rock it as hard as like maybe the next guy, but uh, yeah, I appreciate it as an art form or a music form or whatever, but yeah, it's, it's never been my thing. So. Oh, well, ah. Oh, did you just get closer and get hurt by that? I haven't even been using the, uh, like, my weapon mods and stuff like that, so. There we go. Oh, I didn't even get the glory, glory kill on him. Oh, well, whatever. Uh, he actually glued for a second, so I was like, oh, we can start glue. He glowed for a second, so I could have taken advantage of that. Why is my chainsaw out? This is it just the game saying, hey, you need to, you need to use chainsaw right now? Oh, it says I'm out of ammo. Gotcha. Man, shotgun really can't hold that much ammo, can it? Hopefully there's a weapon later on that has like, you know, it's weaker ammo, but at least you get more of it. Oops. Oh, come on. Oh, dang it. Yeah, that was me being stupid. I, I can't play like that, I gotta remember. <laughs> you can't just like run in and start beating stuff, you know? Oh well. I never said I was an expert, so. Wonder where it's gonna load me at. Okay. Yeah, I'll get see, this is why we don't play like uh that one mode, you know. I didn't wanna I wasn't gonna die like multiple times or whatever. So, oh you need to drop down so I can Did I catch you? Oh, you activated the thing. Yeah, and of course I wasn't always be moving either, so that's, like I said, my fault for that. Aren't the uh, blue, like, um, jugs, aren't they supposed to, like, get, be able to allow your health to go above, like, 100, kind of like in the, um, original game, or am I misremembering? Yeah, I got a lot of life. Oh, I thought I destroyed the, uh, the source of it. Come on. I need ammo, so. Yeah, see, I'm just looking for other weapons and opportunities. Okay. I guess you can only hold some. I wonder if you can get, like, uh, later on, get stuff that increases your ammo intake and stuff like that. Ah, ah! I myself get hit multiple times with that. Yeah, I'm doing like really, really bad. Oh, whoops, I pressed the button. Got a couple of, uh, ah. Oh, 
Oh, I was about to say, I didn't know you could break out of Sagarman. I guess it makes sense. Where'd that one, where'd the, where'd the Arachnatron go, though? Oh, I guess he's just jumping around all little nimbly pimply, yeah. Oh, is there a cup? Never mind. I thought there's for some reason I thought there was another Arachnatron somewhere, but maybe before. Whoop. Yeah, let's play the, the level one chainsaw refills. Oh god, dang it! He got I got stuck in a like um um. I couldn't jump out of it, so I got stuck there, so he killed me, so. Oh, man. It's not good if, like, one of the first areas, I'm, like, having to redo it a couple times. Man, I suck. Sorry, I was hoping to get a pretty decent, uh, maybe I should put it on normal mode, just to, uh, you know, play, go with my, uh, my skill style or something like that. Alright, let's, oops, ah. Uh. Can, I can't use a. Can I use a chainsaw? I would assume I can't just because it's it's a more powerful enemy. So I assume it's a. Uh, um. Oh, God. Ah, no. Oh, come on. <laughs> I'm getting stuck it over. Wait, how can they have insufficient full fuel when it still pulls out the. Oh, man. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Let me. Need more health? Man, I, I've forgotten how like how nasty like hard mode is really. I think I played it for a little bit on the original game, but uh, uh, oh, maybe I should have tried to. Uh, uh, Always be moving, always be moving. Just keep swimming, just keep swimming. Oh, no. oh he was in. Oh, whatever. So, I was over to like, um, st or stagger him so I could see like what the death animation. Because I assume every every character has like a unique death animation when you uh, stagger them. I bet there's an achievement for doing that too, or, or trophy or whatever game system you're playing on. I bet that's you get that for. Uh, do this every single available target. Yeah, I can see your butt, dude. Okay, are we done? All these guys? Okay. Yeah, that was actually kind of heinous. Oh man, all this moving around and everything, so it's gonna be a bit ill. Okay, where's the tractor? Oh. At least you can't get hurt in the... At least I don't believe you can get hurt in the... Yeah. Glory kill animation. Oh, we just had to keep doing it. Huh. I thought I was done when I killed the Arachnatron, but... Oh, it's over there. Okay. And what do we get? We get a new weapon, I assume. Yeah, uh, see, it tells us... Yeah, about the weapon wheel. Uh, press and hold the R... Is that R1? I can barely read that. Press R1 to quickly slot to your previous weapon. Hold R1 to activate the weapon wheel and choose from your selection, which we'll get more later. I see this the machine gun. I'm sorry, I'm recording this a little late. Let's, what do we got? Heavy. Oh, heavy cannon. Okay. And then, yeah, finally a multi ammo. Even though shotgun is still the better weapon, but I like having weapons that have a lot of ammo just to. You know, that way I'm not having to reload or look for ammo on a regular basis. So. Let's just drop this back. Oh, I can't even go over there for some reason. I was just kind of checking around to see if there's any, like, secrets or anything like that. Maybe there's one per, like, major area or something like that. And it's giving me health and stuff for whatever the next target is. Alright, what's this? Oh, is this the map? Okay, we just have to punch it, basically. Auto map stations. Finding an auto map station reveal all undiscovered areas in, on the map. You can view the map on the map uh, tab on the dossier. Your auto map can reveal valuable items in the world as you explore locations. So check back regularly to see what you've uncovered. Okay. Similar. See, that's. Oh, I guess that's a combat area when it has those sword icons on it. Oh, I missed something back there. Huh. I assume I can't go back, can I? 
Or maybe I can't do that yet, maybe? Oh, and there's a little area I can explore over there. Hmm. Although I don't... I wonder if you have to 100% everything on that, so... Yeah, I don't know what that would have been. I don't think I remember seeing anything. Hmm. Well, let's see if I... Can we teleport to, like, um, auto map locations, or... I wonder if there's a different... Nah, that's the same. I was wondering if there was different, like, death things for, um... If you have a different weapon, but it doesn't look like it. Oh yeah, no, didn't I have to fall pretty pretty far to get down here? So I assume I can't get back up, so... I wonder if there's, like, a teleport to go all the way to... Oh, I can't get back up. Okay. I didn't think I could. I think maybe I glitched it to do that, because I really doubt that that was me legitimately getting over there. Oh, I might not be able to get up to that point, because that one I think was a pretty high drop, if I recall. Yeah. Oh, well, that's not a big deal. Yeah, I don't think I... Oh, I bet I could have jumped over there, but what was the idea? Huh. Oh, well. I said, unless I could glitch out the game to let me jump back up, but I, didn't, I doubt it. So. Okay. I, I, but I wonder, I'm trying to remember if in the previous game you could go back to old areas or not. Like, by teleporting or something. I don't think so. I think it was pretty much as is. So, so we missed one secret. That's not bad. Okay, we'll just make our way back. So, If we can somehow teleport, great. If not, no big deal. Apparently you can swing in this game. Alright, let's go through the door. We're all helped up. Got all the ammo. Some ammo, anyway. Alright, next major area. I guess I have to... I guess if I want to try to find secrets, I'll have to pay attention to these maps in the future. Or at least try to look around a bit more. Of course, you know it's a battle because of the heavy music going on. Rock on, man. Yeah. It's like, oh, shield. Or right. armor, I mean, shield. I mean, same thing, really, when you think about it. It's a protective thing. That was terrible. You know, the Marines and the Imps are... Yeah, you think a group that's trying to take over the Earth, you think all the factions would work together, but I guess the idea is like, they're so evil and they're so manipulative that they want to have, they want to get the credit for doing whatever, so they'll, or either that or they're so, uh, what's the word, not evil, um, so uh, monstrous that they don't, uh, they don't, their, their intelligence is so low, you know, that type of thing. Yeah, you guys uh, fight amongst yourselves. Oh, you died. I assume this is a secret, maybe? Let's see. Oh, yeah, it is. Okay. Anyways, I found that all on my own. I'm a big boy now. But I'm a Toys R Us kid, too. Is that another adult thing? Huh. Too bad, that's it. I don't know, I already lost most of my armor already. And what was that, the UNC or whatever? Take a moment to look around you. Witness the beauty of the world we have created. Um, yeah, beauty. The irony is not lost on me. Oh, it even shows a little, little doll thing in there, so... I guess there's a shortcut for this, maybe you don't want to go, go fight through the main area or something like that. Oh, nice. Little health, health pieces and all that everywhere. Wait, was I hit by something? I guess so. Human population part two. I guess looking at these places are a good way to like get codexes or whatever you want to call them. A one up? Huh. 
Okay, extra lives. Nice. That's a nice little callback to the old school. Oh, I wasted, I wasted that health thing. Oh, wow. oh yeah, there's no mods for it this already, so... Let's switch to the shotgun. Sorry, I was trying to remember actually which button I needed to do to swap my weapons. Uh, interrupt the Dega Council. This is the subway aboard this train to the city. Train to the highway. I guess I had to maybe beat the monsters here or something. Or demons. Or freaking demon. I just realized the shotgun has like almost no uh, ammo really to his. Unlike the heavy cannon, it has like 50 or whatever. So I guess that takes us back up right now. Is that okay? Oh, I thought that was like an extra super or something. I was like, ooh. Ooh, ah, ooh, ah, ooh. What if I got that? Yeah, I am really bad against these rackets, huh? Creatures. Oops. Oh, ah, man, I, I left the... I kept the button on, so I wasn't paying attention to the... Might as well. Look at, I mean, technically, I could probably skip a lot of the monsters because you know it's not like they give experience or anything like that. So, and I just have to, I have to explore, man. It's in my blood. And all the RPGs I've been playing, I explore every little ton of the area. Well, I assume that's instant death. I can drop down there. Okay, I guess we just had to defeat the Arachnotron. Yellow access, I assume we need a yellow key for that, so. Onwards to battle. One zombie's like, hey, I'm in the bathroom. I'm like, oh, sorry, dude. Didn't mean to do that. Oops. Now that one's pretty funny, just smashing him in his body. You know, down, downtown. I guess the imps fight the yeah, imps fight as zombies too. Or yeah. I'm getting good at these secrets for the most part. Or one up. Dun dun dun. dun. I got an each and someone here pretty soon. Almost have, almost have that precious ammo. That wall climb. Slayer can climb, so he is called the Slayer in this game. The Slayer can attach to a pitted wall by pressing the R3 button. Class climb by pressing the left button or left directional button. Ew, look, sorry. Look around and jump to another location. Okay. Um, I guess there's nothing over here to check out, I guess. Yeah, no, it's not okay. okay. Nice. Whoa, he just. Yeah, Doom Doom Slayer is so awesome that he just grips it with his with his bare with his bare muscle. Bear hugger. Yeah. What's this? Oh whatever. Yeah, the we'll access key card. Nice callback. Nice callback to the original games. I'm trying to remember if I ever actually beat Doom or not. I know I played them. But I don't know if I played all of them or if I beat all the actual levels, because there were some levels in Doom if I remember. I remember getting lost, though, even though it was a map and everything, like I the way that the old maps work were a bit uh, confusing at the time, so I don't know. I assume I beat one of them. Because there was Doom and then there was like all these um, uh, various like stories and side and uh, 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 additional like things you could download online. Because back in the day, Doom didn't come completely. It was based on episodes. So you got like the... You could download like the first episode for free, for example. And then you had to... Um, buy the rest of them, for example. So the first episode was just to kind of appease you, and then you order the rest of the discs um, from, from like a, 
mail order catalog or whatever, so depending on what time period. So yeah, no, you couldn't just digitally buy it. You had to like wait for a disc to come in the mail or whatever. Okay, yeah, I wasn't should have been standing like right in front of a like a, a gun or something or whatever that big old cannon thing is. So. Always low. Always be low. Yeah, come on, go. Mannequins everywhere. Oh, creepy. Darn it, they keep breaking. What are you talking about? Is it because I just meleeed a bunch of them? No. I'm just gonna keep shooting. Yeah, luckily well, just. Oh, God. That's the hell. I think it's because I was standing like, right in front of the cannon or whatever. <laughs> what was it that Brian Regan said? Do not stand directly in front of a cannon? Thanks, Doc. How can I ever know? Oh, okay. Arctron. Oh, maybe I should have tried. Ah, dang it. Ah! No! Oh. I'm low on everything! Oh, oops. Actually, can you get hit by those? Like, by those, um. Oh. But I don't think I don't think I can uh, chainsaw this guy, can I? I guess we'll find out. Nope. Let me chainsaw him. Yep. Yeah, it wouldn't let me chainsaw him. Oh well. Yeah, I didn't think I, I think I either have to have more chainsaw or something, or I have to weaken the minion with like. I should probably just skip the real now that I run away. Or now that. I've... Oops. Oh, there's a health. I'm thinking this for like extra lives, I guess. Yeah, I wonder. Oh, ouch. I wonder if he was getting hit by the uh, that ball of energy or whatnot. Yeah, or Ow. Okay. Grab that mod. Uh, let's see. Oh, we already maxed out that, so let's get heavy cannon. So precision bolt. Press L2 to bring up a semi-automatic loader that fires high precision, high powered rounds. Zoom in for additional precision. Shots can penetrate through smaller demons. Does most damage to weak points. Upgrades. Mobility. Fast loader. Headshot. Blast. Micro missiles. <laughs> micro machines. Uh, I can't do the really fast speaking micro machines guy, but you know what I mean. Bold L2 to activate twin racks of missiles that can be fired and seek tor tor targets. That's pretty awesome. Good for raking a crowd of demons. Missiles can seek targets. Can eat through ammo if they aren't careful. Upgrades. Qu quick recharger. Instant loader. Primary charger. Bottomless missiles. Yeah, let's go with micro, micro machines. I mean micro missiles first, and then we'll get precision bolt later. So we're about the, uh, Ve I guess Vega is the one who's been giving us the, the mods or, or allowing us to get them. Why don't you just give us all the mods at once? Oh wait, because that would be, that would, uh, that game would be, be too OP at the very beginning, so oh well. I just seeing if there's any secrets that I might have missing. I mean, I'm not gonna go back, but All right, so I think I saw health or armor thing inside. So, oops, this was still... oh, thank you, thank you for this bounty. What the frag grenade? Uh, press L1 to launch a grenade, which explodes after landing on the ground. The explosion damages and falters any demons hit by the blast. Combos with any. Combo it with any other weapon. The frag grenade gradually. Tra oh, it's a recharging. Huh. Very nice. It's nice that we don't have to worry about. I mean, we can't shoot grenades all the time, but it's nice to know that we have an option for that. We point Kaka Demon. Uh, the Kaka Demon is a pressure. Pressure Demon with a powerful close range bite. You can fire a sticky bomb or frag grenade into its mouth and instantly staggers. Let's the codex for that. Oh, that's a nice little feature. That's a very nice I'm actually surprised I made that. I didn't think I was. I don't know. I felt like I was a bit off or something like that. Yeah. So I just got to remember how long this grenades. I mean, it shows it down there in the UI, so it's still. Uh, it looks like we got another, like, kill battle kind of thing. Uh, 
Whoops. Okay. What? Dang it. Um. Shoot. Yeah, I'm, I'm not always be moving. Always be moving. Ha! Cool, ripped out his eye. I got gotcha. you. You got his, uh, what is it? You got his fucking eye? I got his fucking head! Man, I'm so bad at these. First group of shooters, at least one group doesn't. Have them. And you can tell hard mode, yeah, you definitely have to be paying attention on a regular basis. I may, uh, depending on how I feel, I might switch it to. Make a normal mode version. Actually, I think you can change the difficulty. I think the only version you can't change the difficulty on is, um, oh man, is a. Uh, I think when you put it on nightmare mode or one of those, I don't think you can go back after that. I think it's a. You have to. You have to basically play as is. Oh man! Come on! Get the hell! Get the hell! Beat the demons! Yeah, I guess I should have put chose the normal mode if I didn't want to have to worry about, like, oh, there's a health up there. That's where it gets really bad. Actually, I don't know why I did that. I didn't need help anymore. Oh. Man, how many more are there? Are there, there? Where are you? Oh, am I just, oh, maybe I'm out of ammo. That's not what I'm just, not with me. my weapons. Yeah, I was out of ammo. Do, 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 do. Oh, <laughs> Man, every time I get hit, it makes me think like, um, like I'm about to die or something like that, and not when I'm not actually that low on health, you know? I didn't know you guys had rocket packs. They can fly now? Oh god, I can't believe I even referenced that in the uh, in the uh, that and Doom in the same sentence. I feel dirty. Well that's more of a meme anyway, so no one takes it that no one takes it seriously. Oh whoops. Yeah, quit running again. God, you guys are kinda of you guys aren't really so much dangerous well, they are dangerous, but they're more annoying than anything. Oh god. I probably got to show off the Arachnotron's uh, death thing. You need to stab his thing and oh another one, great. Maybe yeah, stab his thing right into his eye. Actually maybe I'll, I'll, next time I'll do a chainsaw on that guy to get some health. Okay, you have to wait for it to Oh I well whatever. Nice. I guess there's no one else otherwise. Let's see if there's any hidden areas around here, possibly. Doesn't look like it, so. Da -da 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 -da. Oh, I thought there was a breakable wall or something like that. Are most of the secrets actually I'm, I was trying to think of most of the secrets are breakable walls, but no, I found a couple of secrets that just required me to drop into a spot from a specific location, so. Oh, what the heck is that? Well, I could say hell, but sometimes it's funnier when you don't curse. Even though I just did, but you know what I mean. What the heck is that thing? But anyway, it looks like a big old robot. What? Or mech. I bet we'll pilot one during this game. It just screams. We'll be able to do that one time. Thanks. Reminds me of, uh... I'm trying to think. Yeah, whatever. Here. Um, crap. Uh, R1. Crap. Ah, crap. I was trying to remember which one was the grenade, and then I. There we go. About the eye. About the eye. The eyes have it. Keep going. More armor. Just 
know, double jump, you can't, don't have to be afraid of, of reaching certain locations or whatever. So if I can, I wonder if I could have made that double jump on that's another there. Or I could just, I might be able to just jump back, maybe. Well, let's see, hold on. Nah, yeah, that jump would have been high enough, I don't think. Yeah, I wonder if you can jump right back over that to get that armor. Well, let's find out. Is that a break of a wall or am I, am I imagining things? Oh, so you can't... I assume I can't jump back in it. Oh, I thought that was pretty cool. Okay, maybe I can't jump back to that. I'll have to figure out a way to... Because it looks like I should be able to... No, there is a way to get to, because, yeah, you can see that from... Maybe I have to climb, boom, and then get... Okay. That makes sense. Ugh. Climb the wall like a badass. He's, a, he's like a badass. Oops. Almost pressed the wrong button. Fire, come on, man. Come on, guys. Don't do this to me. And I'm gonna jump in there, but I wanna get the uh, armor. I don't need that, especially on this difficulty anyway. At least they make the jumping, like, pretty, I wouldn't say precise, but pretty, like, easy to do, so it's not like, it doesn't require because a lot of games will have, like, platform jumping and they make it so, like, iffy that's just, like, almost not fun to play or do the platform because of just how wonky it is. This one makes it so simple and, like, loose that it's not... You don't have to worry about, like, slipping and sliding. If you jump on a spot, you're going to stay at that spot and not, like, um, like, slide off of it, you know? I hate games that have, like, the platforming causes you to, like, slide when you're, like, on a on an area. I'm like, no, if the, if the platforming isn't precise... Kind of reminds me of a grab wave or something. Whoa. Oh, that must have been close. I could see through it. I was like, I was like, oh, I can go through this thing. Oh, oh. <laughs> I was trying to like, I don't know, pull out the. Oh, okay. Can I do anything to that, or did I destroy it already? Okay. Really, nothing else. Hold on. Oh no, this. Okay. I don't know why. I don't know. I was thinking I needed to do something with that, so. Oh, that made me think I, there should be something over here. Oh, there is. Alright, secret. Yay! Secret, secret, secret time. Oh, cheat codes. That's cool. Cheat codes activate specific modifiers and select emission slet. EX all runes. Okay, so you can read. So that's how you get some secrets. You just replay the level. Cheat codes say prog uh, cheat codes say progression, but you cannot pick up items that conflict with your current cheat. X in world runes are blocked by all runes cheat. Playing missions with cheat codes hides the Slayer key. Replay missions to find all items, finish all encounters, and experiment with the locked weapons or upgrades. Huh. Cool. Whoa. Oh. Uh, okay. Uh. All right, nice. I like I like that. Cheat codes kind of reminds me of the old day, because yeah, most oh, most games don't do cheat codes anymore. Or if you cheat, you have to like, you basically have to hack or mod the game to do that. Like they don't have in-game cheats for a lot of things anymore. Not that most games need, because most modern games are pretty are easier than before. But it's a you know, nice little callback. Whoa, your mouth, dude. And he just like hit me full blast. Oh, he hit me like full blast with the attack. That's why like so much damage was done to me. And my armor's gone too. Dang it. Oh, well. Yeah, usually on these sort of difficulties, you're not going to be keeping that armor for very long. Get aboard the Citadel. I'll try to see if I can. I mean, we're pretty close on time. I was kind of hoping to see if we can maybe make it to the end of the chapter or this area, quote unquote. So, alright. I mean, we technically did when we beheaded that one priest, but. Maybe we should drop down or... Probably death, I bet. That's where I was from before. Oh, 
Oh, we lost me on his prior combat room. Hmm. Make sure to save that up. Gotta make sure to save that, that uh, health packet for when I actually need it and not beforehand. Hopefully I don't accidentally grab it while you're running around. Whoa! Oh, I was like, what? what's going on? What, what's happening? Yeah, just keep, keep it. At least there's a couple health packs over the place, so that's good for that. Yeah, let's change weapons for a while. Yeah, don't bash me, zombie. Don't, don't tread on me. Oh, wait. Is that... Oh, I was pressing the wrong button. Dang it. I was actually hoping to. This is. Yeah, these guys can, like, all the seats are gonna come off. <laughs> Oh, did I kill that one cacodemon, or I guess I did. Huh. I mean, there's still monsters around, but because weren't there the two cacodemons, and then well, anyway, I couldn't grab one of that. Okay. Well, I'll climb the stairs like a normal slayer then. Hoo ha! Hee ha! Wa ha! Where's the other? Oh, I was about to say it, it, it'd be funny if it's just this last zombie. No, oh, okay. Still, that would have been funny if that was. Was prevent me from going on, so. Can you drop in there? Oh, nice. Smart. An extra life. Oh, there you are. Oh, of course I won't. Jeez. <laughs> I like the popping noise it uh, makes when he pulls his eye out. Pop! It was a weasel. He went over the mulberry roast, the monkey chased the weasel, since I got to the that pop goes the weasel. Or however the game Oh, I'm out of ammo. Oh. I did not think I was that bad off. Whoa, ah! Oh god, no! I'm stuck! Oh god, that's that's not good. That blue. Right. <laughs> that sucked, Peter. Peter. Yeah, that sucked. They're like they, I got like stuck in a wall or something like that, and I couldn't back out. So the yeah, that's what you get, dude. I guess good thing I have these uh, extra lives. Oh, I guess I'm out of the shotgun. Huh? Chainsaw. Oh, yeah, I keep forgetting to move. The only time I use chainsaw is when I actually actively know I don't have any like. Uh, Oh right, I need a chainsaw. So. And now I can glory kill when I don't even need to. Yeah, we're getting a getting a little over on time, but uh, level up. How do you level up and a doom guy level up? How, how does that work? Anyway, yeah, whatever. I didn't think there was RPG elements in it. We didn't get a lot of games have to start offering RPG elements these days. What is that? Go ahead. Anything else here? Or any other random secrets I can be aware of? Nope. Okay. Alright. So more infighting. Let's uh let's see if we can get to that drop ship. I'm gonna try these guys. Ooh. What the Okay. Uh, ah dang it. I was hoping to get that life, but uh Aw, oh, dang it, no! Well, that was pointless. Wait, what? Where am I? Oh, that's how you... Oh, I, I missed that. That's what happened. Okay. Oh, well. Whoa, 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 whoa. Almost jumped, well, almost jumped like... Oh, God. Oh! Shoot. Dang it, I'm stuck. At least I felt like, oh god, no, 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 oh my god, well, I was hoping to ignore all of them, but uh, no, they did not, they did not want me to, uh, to do such a thing, no can do, man, 
That's what I get for not attacking everything in my in my immediate vicinity, so. Oops. Listen. Take that. Why are you all fighting me? There's uh, plenty of other dudes around here. So I keep uh, hitting them too many times. Okay, the game wants me to kill everything on site. Now, nah, just oh, no, that's why you wanted to avoid the site because of that. I actually did. I actually went the right way the first time, but. Uh, that's usually how it is my, with my exploitative nature. And I somehow find like the easiest path without realizing that's how I was supposed to do when I was just generally exploring for the purposes of uh, finding stuff. You know. Yeah, come on. Get more melee, or get more ammo. Oh, yes. Get to the, get the ammo here, I saw. Ha, ha, ha. I will defeat you as zombies and monsters and imps. The con maker is nearby. She is inside that demonic citadel. I will mark her location on your HUD. Hey, we're almost done with this place, right? Hopefully. I need to take a break. The gathering of hell priests is located just above your location. My scans indicate there is a lift at the center of this facility. They might, might call it here pretty soon, because like I said, we're already up, over on time and everything. But because uh, I wanted to find a good stopping point, but we may, we may have, uh, may, there may be a whole other section to go before we can do that. So, oh, there we go. Fast travel. Oh, fast travel allows you to teleport to predetermined points on the map. Uses to find additional items, complete optional encounters, uh, unlocks near the end of a mission. Fast. Okay, cool. So we are at the end of the mission, pretty much. We just use on a auto map, which is yeah, right over here. Where is it? Oh, that's not it. Oh, that's just a book from the map. Okay. I thought it showed a... Uh... Oops, we'll read that later. Hmm. Okay. Unless we can uh, show fast travel. Okay, so we can just do it as is right now. Okay. I think that's a good spot to uh, stop here because we got to take the council on. The Doom Slayer guy needs to take a break from killing. I know, crazy, I'm right, but uh, well, I hope you enjoyed my play through this game. Uh, yeah, I got a little motion sick uh, from playing it, but that's just first person shoes. I don't blame, I don't blame game design for that. I just blame my physiology for it. But uh, I liked what you saw. It was a little tough, but I think uh, you know, just as long as you stay on your toes. And obviously, I'm playing the hard difficulty, so you have to be playing on your toes. But uh, but yeah, I think uh, you know. I mean, obviously, I wish there was a bit more variety of enemies, but then again, the old Doom was like that, too. So, uh, yeah, the options to get health from glory kills, all the different weapons and mods make for different playing styles, unlike the original game. So, there's a lot more options, and we can try to save Earth from the uh, incoming monsters and whatever it throws at me. So, um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. If you, uh, you know, if you liked what you saw, you can, you know, obviously... It, maybe make a good investment or if you didn't like what you saw you could save yourself a few bucks and uh, get something else but for now i'll leave it here and if i feel like it maybe i'll see you back here when in uh and let's finish this where we see the end of doom slayer's journey and what he's all been through but either way thanks for watching hope you enjoyed and i'll see you next time folks